Welcome back, my comrades. I am Victor Barisov, and today we're continuing Fallout New Vegas, the Mojave Wasteland, Day 3. So, where we left off is we need to get information about this attack, what's going to happen on the Paladins. So, let's see what's going to happen. First off, let's just start looting. So, we made it to Prim, and we need to get to the NCR. You know, I think we won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Uh, does the NCR have any plans to attack the prison north of here? I have no idea. I just go and do what they tell me. Okay, where are you from? I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Okay, goodbye. Ma'am. Ma'am. Do you have anything? Nope. Um, tent? That was the fastest load screen I've ever been through. God, it's so dark in here. Ammunition, ammunition. No one in here. Let's go back out of our tent. Hello. Here. And now Lieutenant Haynes' tent. Alright, so let's have a look. Not much. Alright, let's switch to you. Oh, you're the troop. Alright, he's got bodyguards in here. Hello, buddy. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What are you doing out here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. What's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. Okay. Tell me more about the correctional facility. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Uh, I have some more questions for you. I have some free time. Ask away. Are you just saying, sorry, you to attack the prison north of here? Military operations are classified information. The brass is familiar with the situation at the NCRCF. Okay. Ma'am. Now what we need to try and do is be long and sneaky here. I'm just going to do a save here and then we're going to try and pick the pocket on. Because this is the only way we're going to get information these days. Doesn't help she keep staring. Got business here. Hi. Ah, so she gets up. There we go. Got them. May have lost calm, but we've got them. Let's read. Tent here, so you and your men are ordered to secure the area around prim in preparation of the assault on the prison. Read communicates that the power guards are laxed in their defenses and should quickly fall to a surprise assault in the unlikely event that the attack fails. You are, you are to hold positions near prim and wait further instructions. Major command. Okay, I'm gonna help them. Yeah. Military operation. Uh, We're. I've got the orders. Hmm. Don't know why that's poked out. Cause that's how I got it last time. Come on. Optional. Betray Eddie by offering. By offering the ten years. Right now, let's go and ask him. Cause we're really yeah. quick date. I know the NCS plan to attack prison. Military operations are classified information. Plus, I'm not, I want to help make the attack. Some powder gangers did you wrong, is that it? Get in line. 
Still, you do look capable enough, and manpower hasn't been easy to come by. All right, fine by me if you want to put yourself in harm's way. I'll mark the staging area on your map. Talk to Sergeant Lee. Sure thing. Let's go and kill some powder gangers. By betraying Eddie. Yeah. All right, let me just make sure I've got plenty of saves done first before I go off. Uh, all right, that's not too bad, that one. I'll just create a new one, just in case this freezes or crashes. That's where we're going to next. Okay, up there. So, back in a minute. All right, guys, we're back. So, we are doing a daytime assault. Not the best time to launch an assault, I would say. On a prison. But we could, if NCR troops do die, we could get some good equipment off them. I could say that. So... Let's go in and attack this prison. Sergeant Tro Lee. I'm Sergeant Lee. Lieutenant Hayes radioed ahead to say you were on the way. We've got surprise on our side, and that's about it. Once we blow a gap in the fence, we've got to pour on the fire and keep them disorganized. Our goal is to take out their leader, some ass bag named Eddie. With the ringleader gone, the rest will fold. And that's all the briefing you're going to get. Let's go. Sure thing. There we go, numerous senses have been breached. As you can see, assault prison. Don't want to use my pistol. It's supposed to be a full blown assault. Oh, I'm hurt. I need medical supplies. Where's my stim pack? They're also shooting me. They're not there, I know that. Damn it. Who's now shooting me? Um. Just don't be in calm for killing all these convicts. We got a lot of boys to do that for once I'm sitting there. Ah, shit, I'm being shot to pieces. Right, let's go and clear this cell block first. Even though we are going to lose a Good straight up, we're all taking them out. What have you got? So I bet this could be only a coward. Alright, that's one cell block cleared. Moving to the next. Don't see the NCR troopers though. Oh, there we are. Shit, Sergeant Lee's made a run straight from the main facility, is he? Yes, he is, right. We need to go in there and help him before he. Woman gets himself killed. Grenade launches at the ready there. So even if he does die, all well. Still, I'll have him alive. Let me in. Oh. Sugar, did I enjoy NCR? Yeah, that was NCR. Whoops. Let me just load that second, guys. I don't want to be enemies with the NCR. Sorry, Sergeant Lee. I'll let you do with him. I'm going to go and see our buddies. Let's go up here. It's Sergeant. Oh my god. Sorry, Sergeant Lee. Nope. Damn, quest failed again because I injured Sergeant Lee. <laughs> he likes to run in quite a lot. You deal with him quickly. Oh god, scrambler. How can I miss a point blank range? This makes no sense. What have you done? Oh! I just now nice shot your head off, buddy. We can take it from here. We might have some cleaning up to do, but Eddie's a deadie. Gangs with no leadership don't last long. I'll radio Hayes to let him know the prison's ours. But you should swing by to see him the next time you're near Prim. Sure thing. Right, so we've got to level up. Right, let's get... Uh... How much do we have? 15. Get 5 there. Get that there, there. I want 10 more and something else. Let's have a look. Science. Yeah, science so is quite important. Slow speech. Where am I going with these now? X continue. 
Lady Killer. The team with the team pair the bonus grab by skills last year time so I might grab that cannibal. Edge kid actually no will grab this because this gives us more per, per points later on. From moving magazines I want to. Okay, yep, edge kid. I guess I'll let you kill everybody else, but I might wear the sunglasses. Okay, I'll probably be vilifying now. I need a doctor's bag, I'll use a doctor's bag because I'm not badly injured. Uh, sunglasses. So yeah, I think we killed everybody we could. Yeah, I think these guys didn't stand a chance when I used the uh, what do you call it on them. Yeah, grenade launcher. Fuck enough, if you have the DLCs, grenade launcher comes in very handy apparently. Oh your sunglasses will really use that to fix some of the stuff. Power ganger. Uh, Eddie. That's my pistol. Scrambler. Right, let's fix some of the My storm chase hat's completely ruined. Right, I'll repair them too. I'll repair my pistols and I'll repair these. So this might come in handy when clearing out the building later on. So let's see if we can find any dead end CR troopers anywhere. And if we can take some medicine. I know it's steel in my foot. Yeah, just cleared out of prison. What more do you want me to do? I need supplies. Now, I think I've seen some pretty much good there. Is this the do Where's the doctor actually? Do I lose body? Yeah, where is the doctor? Hold on. Uh, okay, I don't know where the doctor's body is. Maybe he made a run for it? You didn't see him upstairs? Maybe he's made a run for the door, possibly. Possibly made a run for it. We'll soon find out if we go outside and find his corpse out there. So right, we need to check the cell blocks again. Check all the towers, reach every body we can. And then we'll go back to Good Springs and go and help Ringo. Really? You guys are blooming late as hell. Look at that, guys. They're just all piling in last minute. Okay, yeah. Bomb rifle. Well, I'll have a service rifle like what they're using. Anybody in this tower? Oh, there was. He's dead here. Yeah. So we can get a service rifle. That would be amazingly helpful. If not... No worries. Oh, here's some dead dude. Ah, here he is. The medic. Shot dead outside the compound. Anybody in this tower? Yes, there is. There he is there. Right. Let's deal with his corpse. Actually, how badly damaged is my vomit rifle, actually? That's pretty damaged. I'll take a couple of vomit rifles then. And fix my vomit rifle up. Why not? We're still going to clear out that main building there, possibly as well. So we'll do that in a minute. Perhaps I'll have a corpse out, so I'm here, we'll have the bomb rifle. Right. Bomb rifles. Plus two. Yep. At least I'm getting there, fixing my weapons. Right, let's go and check this out. Let's go and check these towers here because I was getting shot by someone over here. Yeah, look at that. They blew a hole in the fence, alright. Yeah, someone's still out. Still over there. We'll deal with him in a minute. Let's just go and check these towers. Nope. That's pretty good. Any dead NCR? No. Yeah, he's right at the top of this tower. Can't trust the NCR to mop up, can you? There he is, look at that. There we go. God's dead. I'm also now dead. Taste impact. I don't know what one. There we go. Oh, dead dude here. So, got still got the main block to clear out, so best get, you know, 
I don't actually know what to use. What is this gun up here? Caravan shotgun. Right, back in here. Oh, we still have one. Okay, we got the dude still alive in here. Fuck it out. Oh yeah, I didn't have time to play this outside. This is really good. Dead. Well, these dudes didn't sustain a chance in out of the storm chaser's hat. Nice. Fix my storm chaser's hat now. Oh, oh well, god, brand new one fully fixed. Oh, magazine. Steal now. Arm case down. Come back for that later on, I guess. Uh, arm case. Biker's goggles. How do I actually look? Why? I'm still wearing glasses. Yeah, I am. There we go, because that should, in theory, give me a bonus to my stats. Yeah, there you go. Perception. I'm now on 8 perception. So that's going to come in very handy. And also, guys, we've been recording so far probably 16 minutes. We've already made an enemy in the wasteland. Let's check. General. Got accepted. Neutral. Vilified. Yep. We're vilified by them. Yeah, I wasn't suspecting that last one with this friendship anyway. So, right. Where the hell's this dead dude I shot? Here he is. Oh, no, it isn't. It's in here, is he? Yeah, there we go. Cell block key. See if there's anything else we need to. So, I believe this just gives us access to his shop. Yeah, like that. Um, ammo. Ball caps, I'll take ball caps, buddy. No, I'm stealing life, but hey, I'd rather be a thief. To get some good. And surgical tubing. Right, yo. Let's head back out then. So, is this cell block B? Yeah. Uh, I see red, possibly. Oh, it's a large wild dog. Okay, don't worry. So there's no one in this tower. I know I killed the other two people on this tower here. So I'll leave the main block there to deal with. Alright, let's go and check this main tower out then. Because we did blow the person's legs off. I can say that pretty much. Yep. Dead is a door in here. I'll take that. Alright, let's fix up my one. The bomb right is pretty much fixed. Now it's just time to deal with the main block here. Yeah. Hopefully now everybody goes crazy and tries to make me. Right, yo. I'll rather keep him alive because he's probably not a quest. That's why he's in the world. Things look out. I don't want to shoot you. Oh, so much. Well, we dealt with these dudes in here. Let's talk to him. If he says screaming running around. Sounds like the NCR is finally getting off their ass to settle things around here. Don't expect me to get in their way. Okay. Watch yourself out. At least you just surrender to them and then bop on up a fight. Good on you, buddy. I can see that. Ah. There we go. Alright, let's head outside. I think. Actually, where is his corpse? Huh. I don't know where he went. He's normally the person you see, normally from the loot. Yeah, I don't know where the front door guard is. Maybe he's just fled the area completely now. So I didn't see his corpse inside there, and I didn't see it out here. So yeah, maybe he's just fled. Actually, I would not blame him for fleeing. So this is the medic. No one is around there. No. Don't believe I did. 
Code aufposten. No. Powerganger. Powerganger, Powerganger. Yeah, I don't know where his corpse is. Hey. I'm so much to kill him. Guess not. Oh well. Let's head over back to Good Springs. I'm not going to teleport there because I already have Paragons on my way. Well, at least this prison's a lot more quiet now. I can say that. So we're going to go and... What's the word? Offer to help Ringo. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take out any Paragons on the way. See out like there's power guys over there in that camp, so I say we're just going to take some of them out, shall we? I need some dynamite along the way. So we've got a lot of dynamite. So how's that sound, guys? So you know, power guys are just horrible people. Come on, then. Take out that landmine defense. Come on. You like that? Did he use a stim pack or something? That'll slow him down a little. Maybe. Look out! Ow. Now we're in clobbered. Come on, dudes. I'll teach you. Smack me out of here with this with a tire on. New buddy. Come on, you've got a tough score. Come on, dude. Nice. Well, that's them all dead. So I can see that. So right, that's that encampment dealt with. So I all their landmine defences, so they shouldn't be bothering anybody. The other camps will though, so. Do I have a barnet rifle anywhere? Hmm, uh, I don't have it equipped by luck, so hold on to this. Find my barnet rifle. Damn, I must have dropped my barnet rifle back there. Inside the thing, I'll go back for it and um, after I've done three. Oh, that was a lucky shot. Oh, that was a lucky shot. It's like I dropped inside the main room. Actually, we'll go to skydiving, then I'll do some magic editing. So, let's just clear out this. Is. Oh, yep, this is a ball. Yeah, but you stay dead. Not many power cars are gonna come and assist now. So watch out these two out here. Come on. Yep, this is a pretty good pistol, I would say. One bullet to the head seems to kill them. You need to be careful. Whoa. It's dangerous out here. I'll try my out. How did you know I was in trouble? Heck, I can smell trouble a mile away. S some... Some track without a nose. I remember that. See that Are you following me? I saved your life, so I kind of feel responsible for you is all. Well, I, don't, I take care by myself. Goodbye. Well... Okay, you're a creepy robot, man. You just scared the life out of me. I thought you were something else. Oh, 
Right. There you keep zooming off. Right, guys. So I'll be back here in a minute once I got that vomit rifle. Right, guys. We're back. And I just grabbed my bomb rifle, so that's fine. Turns out I did just drop on the floor next to a dead body. So we're gonna head into Good Springs, help Ringo, and then look at the time after we've helped Ringo, we'll explore. Actually, no. Uh, we'll do exploring later on, I think, because Prim is a good stop to do next. We'll try and clear out Prim, help the locals, and save out everything like that. I would say. So Prim is our next major stop. As you can see guys, there's a lot of quests to do. When we come to one special quest, I've literally just got bullet. Because the companion who I want, Eddie, his quest is very time sensitive because it relies on waiting so many days, or audio logs, speaking to so many people. And it's just like, oh god. So yeah, that's gonna be a fun one. So you're not hit me yet? We must have got word we just wiped out the prison. So. No, I just need some just like me yet. We will do when we launch our assault, you know. I think the first time I'll go to is the general shop to see if he's got any more farming rifle parts. Because farming rifle parts are empty. And there's Big Flower again. Doing his daily patrols. Pretty random. So, in the You looking to buy some supplies? Yes, I am. Can do. Uh, I think of use, practically. Please be anything, you know. Uh, what I do I do is give you a load of dynamite. And just buy you completely out for now. Uh, it doesn't matter if you've got any more armor rifle parts yet. Damn ya. Yeah. I always need more armor rifle parts. But okay, if you've got none of them, I'll see what weapons you've got. Might be some useful. Gunrunner's arsenal. It's quite a bit of damage. Oh no, poor Q. What I'll do is sell that. Sell the submachine gun. Sell the standard plasma pistol. Make some cats back. I like the park out armor. Let's uh, get all that. Keep all that. Healing powder, hydra. So, as you can see, guys, we're making a lot of caps already. Just by selling the chems and the rest. And then we'll buy them out again. And then we'll see what mods he's got for the plasma pistol, if any. It's just laser pistol armor. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank you. Now I'm going to see if the price sells or not, because I'm sure it works. Yes, I do. Uh, Science 22, but I won't mind. My bad. There we go. Alright, let's go and see if Ringo needs any help then. Deal with these powder guys. So once they're all dealt with, we can roll into Prim. Here we go. Put your gun down. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. That's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, what are the rules of caravan? It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see caravan in any casino. Too slow paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Not right now. Why can't I find more cards? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves. Can find some for sale too. I got a time for a game on there. Alright. Right, you uh what do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. 
I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm, uh, staying in town for a bit. I see. Did you want something else? Uh, let's play Caravan. What can you tell me about Good Springs? I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Okay. Tell me more about the Crimson Caravan Company. It's been in business for a very long time. It's probably the biggest trading outfit in California. There's a branch up in New Vegas, but it hasn't been doing so well. Word is that the big boss herself, Alice McLafferty, is coming in to fix things. What do you do around here? Like I said, I'm not from Good Springs. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. Okay, do you know there's a man named Jeb Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Why are you... Why are all the power guys out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Okay. Why are you... What are you going to do about the power guys? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Uh, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now... If some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around so you can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Okay, dude. Uh, I think I can take them. Here. Let's see. Yep, we'll take everything we can get. Since I saw Sparrow out of the magazine, we always need all the mines we can get. If I want to get to 100% lock, 100% uh, skills, I need every magazine I can get. Right, so let's head down into what's doing smiles and try and round everyone else up. I can say that, because this is going to be a fun little firefight. Then once we drive the power guys out of Good Springs, we'll be winning a fight forever. Right. Hello, Sunny. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Gonna need help. Help Ringo take on the power guys. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Sure thing. Any ideas how to convince Trudy to join us? A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chad be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chad's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Okay, how can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Okay, goodbye. I'll be waiting. Alright, I've always a bed on now. Oh, God, it's night. Easy Pete. Howdy. I hear you've got dynamite, which helps us beat the powder guys. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. So this is 25, I'm familiar with the can handling of explosives, dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. What do you know about Jacob Cobb? Bad right trouble. That's helpful. Welcome. 
Yep. Okay, next stop, the lever. And then we're going to speak truly. So at least we convinced these a bit, so I convinced him. Yoohoo! You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Well, let them take all the town and then I'm sure your business will be much better off. You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Sure thing. Take it easy now. That was easy to convince him. We just had to tell him the store was going to be looted and blown up if he doesn't support us. Alright, let's go into our Trudy. Then the good old dock. Actually, I must heal myself before going to the dock. Let's make sure my bones are not in the as well. Doctor's back, I would say, is in order because the dock's always going to have a go at me. There we go. Can't say I'm banged up or injured. Bones. Right, so this is where Trudy lives. This house here. Anything in our mailbox? No. Let's go in. Trudy! So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Right, nice. Speech, you should help me take down the town power gang folks. It's supposed to be lots of fun. Yeah. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Always spoken to and taken care of. Goodbye for now. Be careful out there. Now we'll level up. Alright, so I want to try and get... See, we've got 17 skill points now to spend. So if I do 10 there, so that's 40. Then repairs 30. I'll just get that up to the thing. Yep, that should do for now. Right. Let's head over this way then. So as you can see, we're already like level 5, so we've already got some of the skills now maxed out. So it's always quite good to have. So here we go. Doc's house. Doc, we need supplies, we gotta be Starting a war with some powder gangers, local militia style. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, we're starting a local militia and we're going to be um, killing some people, so we need supplies. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg, and my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Nice. Maybe you should suppose this. Do you have some for more serious injuries? I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Thank you. Goodbye. You take care now. Right. So, we've got all the supplies, we've got everybody on our side, the militia is now ready to start a war. Well, it doesn't seem like a good idea for a small town, but hey ho, militias will be militias. So, let's head in here. Speak to you. So, what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? She's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Same. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Where's Trudy and the rest? They're getting set up in cover, but it might not go well unless we get out there soon. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. That's cool. Oh, Easy Pete came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Sure thing. Not with the boom boom stick. Alright, let's go people. We need to go and blow up these horrible people and keep everybody alive. So basically we've got the world's biggest militia. All the farmers and the rest. As you can see, all the people there is equipped now with leather armor and the rest. 
So basically, we're gonna be fighting the biggest militia of all the race. Yep, look at that. Lavarama, Lavarama, all the locals. Idolized. Now the most top in the town. Uh, where is that regular? Oh, Cheyenne's still alive talking here. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. Uh, did I hear something earlier about not being able to pay now? Seems a little like what work. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Sure thing. Evening. Trudy? I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. Same here. Be careful out there. Well, dude. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid Good Springs in the future. Yep. Until next time. Right now, let's head in here and see what he's got to see. Uh, yo, Chad, wake up. Hey there. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Won't do, the prison was destroyed. Goodbye. Take it easy now. Yep, the prison's destroyed. That power guy faction's destroyed. Now the everybody's dealt with now. So, let's loot these corpses. And I'll teleport down to thing so we are here. Or a meat cleaver. These people really stood a chance against us. I can throw all their corpses. This person did, he had a vomit rifle. He had a shotgun, so he would have dealt definitely damage if he got close. You had a shotgun as well, so you would have dealt a bit of damage up close. Powder on it? Yep, you are a bit. And where's Joe Cobb's body? There he is. Magnum and stealth gun, so you can use defensive damage. Definitely dead now. So let me change over to my pistol and I might teleport to. Let's see what I've this again. Down here. Back in a minute then, guys. Oh no, we're inside the town now, aren't we? Do I have anything to this bridge? No, I don't. No, because I think there's landmines on this bridge. Yeah. Oh, these ones are a bit easier to disarm them. So I can get in and out of this town if I need to make a run for it. I don't want to be running into the landmines. Right. Attend print. Let's actually see what quests we've got. Sierra Madre. Chat Allied. The reunion. Right, let's deal with any polygons we find. So if we find any, we just get gun them down and shoot them preferably pretty fast. Hmm. I can see that. Let's check this up first here. Oh no, that's beagles. Okay, we won't check that. Uh, I think the rest of them all find around the front this golden area. Let's check the sheriff's office. That sounds horrible. Oh yeah, these people are better than their sleep when they yeah, that was right. Uh, sheriff's duster and sheriff's hat. See that, I'm taking them. I think I have something to take from in here while I'm in here. Ammo presses. Nope. I should just call this the complex. Screw it, let's make this stall. Oh, I want the price Clearly, I can't hit a barn door. Damn! I'm hit. Right, so we'll take your notes, we're gonna need yours. Oh, caravan outfit, we'll take that. 
Uh, I believe we took out kind of these main guards. There's more on the roller coaster, but we just want to go inside for a minute and speak with the people inside. Don't shoot. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. Town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a career with Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. I lost a patch I was supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, here you go. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had Strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was Strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. Pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job, cancelled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. You cancelled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around, asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let Courier 6 carry the package, that's what he said. Like the Mojave'd sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Okay, good to know. Do you know... Who he was, where he went. No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Enough for me to say. Hmm. Some men stole the patch, a man in a chad suit, and some folks, did they pass this way? Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I had to ask you something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. I can't find information about the man on that shot. Man. A beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. I want to ask you some more questions about delivery. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. Okay, let's see if there's anybody else we can talk to. Hey there. So I know there's a few people all gone. Not you. No. Hmm. Everybody seems to be over here. Or clustering over this way. Oh, you're sitting there. It's so hard to see people as well. Ah, yes, she is. That's who I want to talk to. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Who are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are Prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around a kitchen. Tell me about Prim. My mother taught me never to say something lest it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. 
Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. I like some of that. Let's have that venom casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many rad scorpion glands you got? Don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Sure thing, gotta go. Bye. Alright, so let's go and save Eagle, shall we? Then we'll end after we save him. Alright. Bison stew. Sure thing. Give me a few moments. Right, we are back after a few tries. Disengage lock. Thank you. Bubblegum, no, nothing there. Oop. I'll take these though. Well, I can sell these later on. Need 50, okay. First aid kit. I'll take them. Oh, blood pack. Nice, that's the key for the business. Right. Go dead. See, these convicts are quite easy sometimes. Sometimes they can be quite hard. Just depends. Right. Let's go in here and have a look. So, it's in the gift shop to loot some lock B. A few ball caps. I can't block with that one. Right, let's fix this. There we go. Let's see if we are reworking. Okay, I'll bar it go via the front door sometimes, so that's what we're doing when we're going by the front door. You know, let's slip around to the side, shall we? Go for the kitchen here. Aha! Yep. That's why you never shoot someone with a bomb or rifle. It's all just like your head. Yoohoo! You're the leader. Let's take you out then. He's dead. Uh, don't you love it when you just drop down dead? So this is that giant mess hole, even though you can't really see much, it's quite dark. Uh, let's take your equipment. Sight post impact. And I want the leader's corpse, so the leader. Yep, so that's quite good. Guess we're going free Deputy Meagle now then, because we've secured the building. Uh, there we go. Trade. Hello. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. You must be Deputy Meagle. Why, yes I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. 
How did you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Idiot. Uh, I hear you have information about on some cons that came through here with a guy in a jet suit. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Speech. You can tell me now or not here, no? I'll set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside. Speech. If you try and run away instead of flying at my side, I'll clear myself. So you'll run away, don't I? Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Thank you. I do hope this ordeal will be over soon. They'll take a weapon. I just hope I won't have to use it. I'll take the notes. Let's get going. And Come on, let's go. Well, at least I got your notes on the man who shot me in the head anyway. Yeah, I will. I'll just not go for all of this dialogue. Right. Let's go outside then in the next video. We will I will clear the rest of this building. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation, not to diminish your role in it, of course, but it was quite thrilling. Problem is there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? So about your sheriff now? Oh no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Uh, I'll help bring Law and all that. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay. So guys, that's going to end it here. Yeah, we'll continue our adventures in the next video where we'll clear out the rest of this building. Help get the law back to Prim, speak to different people and continue our travels. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and I'll try and answer the best way I can, guys. Until next time, I'm Victor Barisov, signing off. Until next time, guys. Bye.